When you first open up your new wireless TV headphones from Brookstone, start out by making sure that you have all the pieces. This includes the headphones, the transmitter, two rechargeable AAA batteries, an AC adapter, an RCA male to 3.5 millimeter male Y cable, and a 3.5 millimeter female to RCA male Y cable. First start out by inserting the two AAA batteries into the headphones. Carefully remove the left ear pad and insert the AAA batteries. Then place the left ear pad back on the headphone by aligning the arrow on the ear pad and the arrow on the headphone and then pressing them together. Now set up your transmitter near the device that you'll be connecting it to. Once you've identified the location, you can plug the transmitter in using the AC adapter. One end of the adapter will plug into the transmitter and the other end into a standard wall outlet. Slide the power switch on the transmitter to on and then you'll notice the transmitter LED will flash amber for several seconds and then will remain a solid amber color. We can now connect the transmitter to the audio device, in this case a TV. You'll want to connect the RCA male to 3.5 millimeter male Y cable to the 3.5 millimeter female to RCA male Y cable by connecting the 3.5 millimeter male end into the 3.5 millimeter female end. Then take either end of the RCA connections, the red and white connectors, and plug that end into the transmitter's RCA audio in connections. Then on the audio device, in this case a TV, you'll want to connect the other end of the RCA cables into the audio out connections on the TV. These typically match up in color to the RCA cables. When connecting to a TV, DVD, VCD, VCR, or hi-fi device, set the attenuation to a negative 8 dB for the recommended signal strength. Place the headphones on the transmitter to charge before use. For the initial charge, let the headphones charge about 7 hours. For each charge after that, only takes about 3 hours. Make sure the headphones are off by pressing the power button on the right ear pad. The power LED should be off. Then place the headphones on top of the transmitter, ensuring the charging contacts are aligned. The transmitter LED is purple to show that the headphones are now charging. When the headphones are fully charged, the transmitter LED will show blue. When the headphones are charged, you're ready to listen to your device. Turn on the audio device. When the transmitter receives an audio signal, the transmitter LED is a solid amber. If after five minutes of no audio signal detected, the transmitter LED goes to a solid blue. Turn the headphones on by pressing and holding the power button on the right ear pad until the power LED is red. The headphones will automatically sync to the transmitter. When the headphones and the transmitter are synced, the power LED is green. You can now use the volume controls on the right ear pad and the volume on the audio source to adjust the volume. When you're done using the headphones, you can turn them off by pressing the power button until the power LED is off. If you're going to connect the transmitter to a device that uses a 3.5 millimeter connection, this is what you need to do. You will follow the same steps up until when you are connecting the transmitter to the audio device. In this instance, we are connecting the transmitter to an iPod. You will plug the RCA end of the RCA male to 3.5 millimeter male Y cable into the transmitter and the 3.5 millimeter end into the audio jack on your device. You will then want to set your attenuation to 0 dB for the recommended signal strength. Then, the steps to listen and enjoy your wireless TV headphones are the same. For more information about this and other great products, check us out at brookstone.com.